I keep reliving the same financial pattern. How do I look for and learn the lesson so that I can stop repeating it? Okay, so we haven't gotten into the limiting belief blaster yet, but let me just give you like a little thing of just if I were not going by my exact formula and I were just to experience a pattern today, like what would I do? This is exactly what I would do. This is what I, Catherine Zagina, would do. And this is obviously an iteration of, it's like a shortening of my limiting belief blaster that I do personally all the time. Number one, let's say there is a financial pattern of some sort that's coming up. And so I would just, number one, notice it. And I would go, hmm, interesting. While this keeps happening, interesting. This is a pattern of some sort. I'm noticing it right? So Sarah, you're already at the point of noticing it um, because obviously you're here asking about it. So you're like, wow, this is a pattern. Interesting. So you noticed it. The next thing is to ask a, ser- uh, ask a simple question. And a lot of people like to look at limiting beliefs and things like that way too close to themselves and personally. And I think that when you look at yourself, if you're not yet an expert at self-awareness, it could be really hard And this is like, this is even I need someone else sometimes to tell me, like, I still, I go to coaches. I I hire people like crazy because they can see blind spots that I can't see. Everyone has blind spots, but the better and better you get at this, like the faster it's going to come to you. So my biggest tip for someone, for anybody, I really like to look at it as if someone else is dealing with the problem. So I notice it. I'm like, huh, if this was a friend of mine, or this was someone else who was asking me for advice and they were relaying this problem to me. And, and that way you can look at them objectively and just go, huh, the kind of person that has this situation happening regular, regularly to them over and over and over again, what must they believe about money in order to keep manifesting this? So I'd be like, hmm, whatever would come up. There's no right answer. A lot of people get so stuck here because they think that they need to pinpoint the thing of all things, like go anywhere, anywhere that your intuition's guiding you. Anything that you notice is worthwhile in this situation. So you're like, huh, what must this person believe about money in order to keep manifesting the situation? And then you go into poking holes at the belief because in order, like I will explain all of this, I think in module seven. And in module seven, I explain how limiting beliefs are like tables. So you have a table top, which is the belief. And then every belief is backed up by evidence. So you have a bunch of, um, I mean, most normal tables in the 3D have, you know, three legs, four legs, right? But think of a different table. So you have maybe like your whole life is evidence. So it could be like 20,000 legs. It could be seven legs. It could be, you just have every leg as a piece of evidence. So in order for you to knock down the table, you have to start poking holes at it. You got to start knocking down all the legs in order for the table to fall and not make it a table anymore. So asking a series of questions, which is poking holes. uh, My favorite one is, is this belief the ultimate truth? And everything stems from there. Meaning, does it have to be this way? Did God say that it had to be this way? Did God say personally to me? Because of course we can go into like, well, this religion, which is this interpretation of XYZ person who said this thing that God told them, right? No, it's like, did God descend and personally tap on your shoulder and said, you Catherine Zankina or you, Sarah Jacobson, must experience money in this way? No. Like most of us can say no, right? Huh. Is it written in some sort of spiritual law book, some textbook? Is there like a cave that I can go into that has some sort of a scribe or whatever that it's written that Catherine Zankina must experience XYZ in this way or this is the truth? No. Okay. Well, going off of that even further, like let's apply it to my actual personal life. Like that's very meta, right? 
has there ever been a time in my life where this wasn't true? And is this true for everybody? Could I point out another person for whom this isn't true? And if so, then it doesn't necessarily have to be true for me. Is it true for everyone on the planet? No. So what? Like law of gravity is true for everyone on the planet. But this financial pattern based off of this belief isn't true for everyone universally. So why is it just me then? And so uh, the more you ask questions, the more the legs fall. Okay. So then you want to build a new table. And so the new table is this new belief that I want to serve me instead. Like what is the opposite of this that I want to be my truth? And immediately what you need to do is you need to stabilize the tabletop. You have to make it into a table. So you immediately go into evidence and evidence procedure. So what evidence can I find right now for this belief already being true? And I promise you there is evidence. You just have to search for it. You just have to intend on, I will find the evidence. I will find the evidence for me being a powerful being, me being a co-creator, that money is abundant. Like it has been abundant. There was this one time my grandma gave me $100 for my birthday. Okay, whoop de fucking do Yes, that's evidence right there that it's happened before that money came unexpectedly. So you just need to start building the evidence. And another way I like to build evidence is looking for someone else. It was, is this true for somebody else? Is it true that a person who looks like me, who talks like me, walks like me is able to manifest this? Yeah, look at this chick on Instagram. She did it. So I can do it too, right? For anyone who struggles with like race or gender or whatever, like a person that does it, that looks like me can't have X, Y, Z. Like I promise you there's someone in the world out there. Just Google it. Okay. Like there's a person of this age. Like I know a lot of women come to me and they're like, I'm 60 years old. There's no way in hell I can make a million dollars at this point or whatever. It's like, yeah, there's people started businesses in their seventies or who who have achieved financial freedom at 70, 80, 90. It doesn't matter. Just look for the evidence. I promise you it is there. And the moment you tell your unconscious mind that the evidence is there, it will start manifesting the people the ideas that whatever it is that you need to believe this to be true. And that's how you solidify those new beliefs in your unconscious. And of course, going further, I would then play out scenarios in my head. I would start visualizing myself living a life where this belief is true. And visualization, like, you know, all kinds of anchoring with the subconscious mind, feeling it as if it's already true, like the unconscious is very tied to feelings and things like that. That's how we solidify this more and more and more and more and more. So you're going to learn so much more about this. I know I kind of like gave you a lesson. I just want to share with you, like without even accessing MBA or looking at what I have written or anything like that, or rereading my steps that I go went over of like in as much detail, like how do I actually do this? This is just my condensed version of just like, how would I do this today? So hopefully that was helpful.